Hi friends, welcome back. Regal Smith here. And today I'm going to teach you about doTERRA's Emotional Aromatherapy line. So this is how you can use essential oils to support different emotions, how they work, and different ways to apply these essential oils. So doTERRA has a set of six essential oils that are specifically designed to be used as a system for emotional aromatherapy. Some of them are uplifting, some of them are calming, and a cool thing about essential oils is that they go through the olfactory system when we inhale them. So you can put them in a diffuser, you can put them on your hands and breathe them in, you can put them on your pulse points, and when it goes through your olfactory system, it's going to get into your limbic system, which is where our emotions reside and our memories. So you can do a lot of things. You may have heard of lavender being referred to as something that's calming to the emotions and to the body. So lavender is for sure one of them. And these blends have some other different blends within them that help them be even more effective. So there is something called an emotional therapy wheel that doTERRA has created. I'm gonna link this for you on my blog and I'm gonna teach you a little bit how to use it. And I know it's a little tricky to see, but basically there's different emotions within this wheel and then different uh, compounds. So there's either floral or spice or citrus within these that are blended. And then it's gonna correlate which of those six oils you can use to support those emotions. So I'll link it below so you can have your own copy. Uh, but there's some emotions on here. Maybe you're feeling fearful or worried. Maybe you're feeling angry, perhaps. Maybe you're feeling distressed or gloomy or sad. There's some different oils that the research supports will help stimulate different pathways in the brain. So a lot of these can be categorized into either calming oils or uplifting oils. So I'm gonna share with you a little bit about some of my favorites, what's in them and how to use them. So this set of six oils includes either the roll-on or the five milliliter bottles, and I'll teach you a little bit about the difference. So whether or not you have the roll-on or the five mil, you're gonna have passion, motivate, cheer, forgive, peace, and console. Now, the roller ones, these are called the touch version, and these are essential oil blends that have fractionated coconut oil in them. So they're diluted, they're designed to be rolled on the body. You can put them on your pulse points, you can use them as a perfume, you can use them to inhale as needed. I'll talk more about that in a moment. Or if you prefer, you could do the five milliliter version. These are the undiluted versions that you can use to put in your essential oil diffuser. So that's a great way to fill an entire room. Everybody's olfactory system is being stimulated. The limbic system, it's either uplifting or calming. And if you need help selecting a diffuser, I will link my video below to my recent diffuser review of seven diff doTERRA diffusers that you can check out. And what we're gonna do with these oils Let's talk a little bit first about Motivate. So we'll start at the top of our wellness circle. So Motivate is up here. It's going to be a combination of citrus and mints. So this Motivate oil in here has peppermint, clementine, coriander, basil, yuzu, melissa, rosemary, vanilla bean extract. So it smells Uplifting, this would be one I would consider putting in my diffuser or putting on if I'm getting ready to work on a task, maybe I wanna focus for the day, maybe I'm getting ready to do a workout. This would be something I would roll right on my hands like this. I would put it in, breathe it, maybe put it on my chest. Now, if you're trying to decide should you get the touch, so that's the roll on or the five milliliter, it just depends on your needs. So if you know you're gonna be putting them on your body all the time, then get the touch version. If you know you wanna diffuse it more, then get the five milliliter version. And if you wanna do both, but you only have in your budget to get one set, get the five milliliter version because you can of course make your own roller bottles. I would put about 20, I would start with 20 drops. You can add more, but maybe 20 drops in an empty 10 milliliter roller bottle, and then fill the rest up with fractionated coconut oil. Now, I don't have the exact combination blends that doTERRA uses, that's proprietary, so I don't know if this is half filled or what, but you can kind of play around with it if you wanna make your own rollers. I have both because I use them so frequently. So Motivate's a great one, kind of uplifting. The next one is going to be our cheer, and the cheer is over here, it's the combination of spices and citrus. And this is a really playful, fun blend. It smells spicy and citrusy, just like it's supposed to. So what's in this blend, it includes wild orange, 
clove oil, star anise, lemon myrtle, nutmeg, vanilla bean extract, ginger, and cinnamon. And this is a great one that if I'm just feeling a down day, if it's maybe gray outside and rainy and gloomy, this is the one that I absolutely love to put in my diffuser. And it smells cheerful, it's fun, it's playful, and it's one of the uplifting essential oils. So that's our cheer oil. The next one in our circle is going to be our passion. It's a combination of the herbs and grasses and spices. The passion is one of my favorite daily wear blends to me. I don't know, it smells spicy, it smells sexy, it smells a little bit floral to me, even though that's not the description of it. It's one that I like to use as a personal fragrance, so I'll put it on my pulse points. It's kind of my, my date night or everyday wear uh, that I really love. Sometimes I'll put a little rose on my heart and a little passion on my pulse points, and I know I'm in for a, a really good evening. I'm dropping my passion. Pick that up later. But this one in here has some cardamom, ginger, cinnamon, clove, sandalwood, jasmine, that's where the floral comes in, vanilla bean, and dominara leaf extract, which is a floral. So this one smells very beautiful to me, and um, one that I think most people really enjoy the aroma of. Next we have Forgive Oil. So Passion's probably my favorite daily, and then Forgive, this is gonna be a combination of trees and grasses. So this is a really healing oil. It smells, it smells grassy and sweet at the same time. And this is one that helps just kind of release any of those emotions where you don't feel, you just feel yuck. Like you might feel heavy, you might feel a little sadness. Um, this is an oil that I use a lot with rose. Rose has a lot of emotional components as well. I'll, I'll rub a little bit of rose on my heart. I'll put some forgive on the bottoms of my feet. Right now, I actually have it in the diffuser. I don't feel like I, I need any forgiveness right now, but it's just one of those reset oils for me. Um, like I said, I mentioned I wear this with rose oil, and this is one that frequently people will stop me if I'm wearing bal or if I'm wearing forgive and rose. People will stop me and ask me what I'm wearing. It happened last week at a tea house. I was picking up some matcha, and somebody just said, "Oh, what are you wearing? You smell so good." And I just told them it's my forgive oil and rose. So what is in your forgive oil? It has spruce, bergamot, juniper berry, lemon, myrtle, arborvitae, nectutri, I don't know how to say that, and thyme and citronella. So it's got a really unique blend. So it's got the herbs, it's got the grasses, but it still smells sweet. It does not smell like citronella. It doesn't smell like a lemongrass. It just, ah kind of like the dew after a rain because of that spruce, almost foresty. It's a really hard one to describe, but very lovely. I highly recommend this. Uh, sometimes even if my daughter's fussy, I'll put a little bit of forgive on the bottoms of her feet, a little lavender, and we go about our day. Uh, the next oil is called Console, and our Console oil is going to be a combination of florals and trees. This is one that is very earthy smelling to me. It is one that I like to stock up on and have extras to give as gifts. So maybe somebody is grieving the loss of a job or a loved one or a, a pet. There's nothing that can replace any of those grievance, grievances, but sometimes if I can just drop a little console in the mail and a little card saying, hey, I'm thinking about you guys, uh, it's, just, it's just a little something to let them know. And so what's in our console oil? It has frankincense oil, patchouli, a lang, -a -lang it has amorous bark, rose, and osmanthus and sandalwood. So it's earthy and floral. I would say that it smells definitely more on the earthy side to me. This is one I prefer to put on the bottoms of my feet uh, because of that earthy aroma. It, it, I like the effects. I like the calming effects of it, um, but I don't want this one kind of on my pulse points up here for me personally, but it's really a nice one for somebody who has a heavy heart and really would benefit for some, for some oils to help with that healing in the process. So that's our console oil. And our very last one that I'm gonna to share today, this is our peace oil. This is a really fun oil. This is a combination of the florals and the mints up here on our chart of our peace oil. And inside of our peace oil, we're gonna have vetiver, lavender, lang, -lang frankincense, clary sage, marjoram, labdanum, I don't know what that is, and spearmint oil. 
And this one is also very grounding, a very earthy oil, but a little bit brighter with some of those florals compared to the Console. This is one that is one of my daughter's favorites since she was a baby. She's been drawn to the Peace Oil. And I'll link below a really short video, less than a minute long, of my daughter when she was a baby, Fussy. And I just opened up Peace Oil, put it under her nose, and she just started to smile and stop crying. It's just one of my favorite sweet moments. And you know, that happens on and off camera. She'll just smell this and she'll just kind of, ah. So Peace Oil, this is one that I like to use sometimes before yoga. I like to put it on the bottoms of my feet. Sometimes I like to put it up uh, my forehead or anywhere that I feel like I could use a little bit more peace. So if you need some of these oils, you can hop on down below. You can check out wholesale pricing through doTERRA. I can help you do that. If you're already a wholesale member, um, definitely check these out. Like I said, you can get the set of six touch. You can get the set of six five milliliters or you can even buy them individually if there was one you were drawn to. So we will see you next time, everyone. Thanks.